Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today we are going to be messing with some more marble stuff. Also, a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and helping support small creators so I can bring you content like this. Last time we made this uh, little chainsaw looking elevator thing, and th this isn't the final, but this is the prototype, and it works for what I can tell. Um, and then the rest of this is the actual track. Um, well, I guess in prototype form, because we will be sort of adding things onto this track um, once I confirm that it works. But I basically just needed to get all these pieces printed so I can test the functionality of this before I go crazy and start modeling a bunch of stuff on top of it. So what we're going to do today is um, build this, kind of hack it together like we did with this, you can see the tape still, um, and try to send some marbles down it. So let's give it a shot. And, like I said, don't worry too much about the uh, print quality of these, because one, we had the, the wrong printer settings on uh, these guys, so you can see the fuzzies there. Like I said, don't worry, this is not the final piece. This will work for what we're testing it. Um, and, yeah, we ran out of filament a few times, so do not worry about print quality here, because um, we sure didn't. Some of them turned out pretty nice, though. So basically what I ended up doing was designing a peg system to put these things together and make sure that they line up the way I need them to. Um, similar to how these functioned in the past, um, I actually had a plan for some stands to help us get the right heights on these, but those uh, did not end up printing very well. So we're just going to throw everything we can at this and see if we can get it to about the right height and um, hopefully that works. Like I said, not final design. Um, in the final thing, it, there won't really be like scaffolding or anything. It'll be more of solid chunks that go together. But for right now, this is what we got. So that's what we work with, right? So what happened to the stands? Um, this is the remnants, and as you can see, uh, did not go too well. Don't mind all the mess here, because it's mid-printing. You know how it goes if you got printers. But anyway, I, I really just designed this scaffolding system to sort of hold everything up in place. And I mean, that was really the, the intention there. I just wanted it to be quick um, in order to test things and um, see if it works. And I even had like a bunch of these connectors that I was going to print and this one failed too. Ran, or the filament jammed right before we were done. So, I mean, you guys know how printer issues go. And these ones, this was my fault. I you know, didn't take into account the long, thin, square pieces like this are very hard to print and are um, very prone to uh, peeling up, which is exactly what happened, and then it just messes up everything. So that's what happened there and why I didn't have these. And I really wanted to be further along in this. Um, I, I ran out of time, mostly because I always underestimate how long things are going to take to print. I, um, you know, I think, oh, a couple days we'll have them printed, and then I load everything up, and it's going to take a week and a half to print everything, and, you know, I'm, I'm making one of these videos a month, so, um, you know, it, it quickly eats up all the time that I have for all this stuff, so but that's why um, I don't have any of this, and we're probably going to have to prop everything up on books and tape, but that's okay, because, like I said, the, these are not part of the final design, they were just a scaffolding to um, hopefully test it out in a non-painful way, but we see how that went.
This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes covering all sorts of different skills. There's a premium membership that gives you full access to all of the classes. So if you're trying to pick up a new creative skill, Skillshare can help you with all of the skills you want to learn. It's a great place to fuel your creativity and point you in the right direction. For example, I've been looking to get better at game design lately and there are tons of Skillshare classes that tackle all of the subjects related to that. Um, I've been deep diving into music stuff recently. So uh, specifically a class called Video Game Music Composition slash Production by Adam Caterer and it's been really informative. Um, also, I know a lot of people with 3D printers want to learn 3D modeling, and there's a plethora of 3D modeling courses out there with a wide variety of programs like Blender, Maya, ZBrush, and even CAD programs. So whether you're trying to learn something new or improve your knowledge on an existing skill, Skillshare is an extremely useful tool. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can explore your creativity. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, well, this was kind of a crapshoot. Um, we got it together. It's held together by tape and propped up on books. Um, I'll go into it in a second as to why like the stands didn't work. Um, but like I said, prototype, you do whatever you can to make it work. So I've got marbles, got them all ready to go here. Um, and we're gonna try this out. And it's still kind of in pieces, but we work with what we got. Too bad. Ooh. Ooh, they don't fall off the track until they're supposed to. Oh, they fall off the table though. So that's the, the top windy part. Now the, the secondary part, we'll see how that works. I was a little afraid of this part because this is kind of tight. This is where the T-Rex would chomp down. So that would go. Oh! Check that out. Oh, that was a big marble. Might need to raise the end up over here a little bit more. Yeah, that works good. Then the other part that I could not show, um, and this was a funnel that I printed a long time ago, messed up and the supports won't come off. So like I said, we're just trying to get things done. You never came here for quality, did you? Um, so what's going to happen is it's going to drop from these two areas and it will drop into this funnel and, and you can kind of, so they, they, they go around, you know, it's a, it's a funnel. And then they will drop through the hole in that and come onto this track over here, which that's a pretty simple track. Nothing too crazy there. And then at the bottom of that is where the elevator will take over and it'll take it back up to the top over here. So obviously this will kind of go through this way and pop out this region, come up over here and start the track over again. And then this will be mechanical as well. So a T-Rex will be chomping down on this part, making some marbles go this way, some marbles go this way. And then we will have the pterodactyl thing over here spinning and hopefully knocking off a few marbles in this region, falling into the funnel. I was also hoping to spice up this bottom piece a little bit. I was thinking about making it like a stegosaur or something that has spikes that the marbles can bounce off of, but ultimately they'll just roll down, get caught by the elevator and start the journey again. Well, it's time for some final thoughts. Um, I was pretty worried about this step, honestly, because this is really where everything kind of comes together. Um, and I guess I figure out if I need to fully redesign it. But um, I think it came together pretty good and it worked out pretty well. So um, you know, there's a few things I need to tweak, like um, you guys saw one of the marbles fall off, so I need to make the wall a little bit higher there and maybe a couple other places just to ensure that the marbles stay on the track as much as possible. Um, and as far as I can tell with this prototype, um, I think it's gonna work, which is a pretty big deal in my head at least. So um, for the next video, I'm gonna be hooking it up to the electronics and actually getting this thing functioning, which will be really, really cool to see. 
Well, I'm sitting here editing the video and I realized that I forgot to record the outro, so uh, here that is. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and until next time, keep creating.